guys, it's your girl B in Harmony coming at you with another video. I know it's been so long before I actually came up with a video, especially regarding my hair, but it's for good reason. I promise to tell you that um, some things have happened to me. Um, it's been about, I think the last video I did was probably like April or May, and it is now almost December. <laughs> But it's because I've been moving and I've just not just been moving across the street or even to the next state. I am totally out of the US. I am now in Germany, which I am so excited to be. Uh, with my husband, husband being in the military, we move around a lot. So for the next couple years, I will be here. Yay! I'm really excited about that. I get to go um, visit a whole new place I've never seen before. Go to uh, do some adventures with my husband, which is always exciting. And um, so, yeah, that's what I've been up to. It took a a minute to, to get everything pretty much set up. It took from moving here, which about, I did about a month break when I stayed with my mom while our stuff was being transferred and my husband was just on leave. And then we stayed in the hotel here for about three weeks and then we moved into this new house, well, um, townhome that they have here in Germany. And then it took about another month for our stuff to actually get here. And then it took like a month for me to get the house set up to at least 80 to 85 percent so if you would like a house tour of a house in germany just let me know thumbs up this video and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe press that button right there i think it's on this side i think or this side i don't know but <laughs> and also press that notification button so you will know when i do uh, post videos um and stuff like that because i don't post often but now that I'm settling in, I'm, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I'm going to do a, do a whole lot better. With that being said, yes, you see, I have on a unit. It is because here in Germany, it is already below 30. And I've already noticed that within two days, my hair is completely dry. Um, having my hair out in a puff, I have not, I've worn it out, not down, like in a, um, in a wash and go, maybe like two times. I try to twist out and it just it just dries up. It doesn't look as juicy as I want it to look when um, past two days. So I decided to opt for wearing wigs um, during the cold seasons. So I probably will do some wig reviews for you guys also just for a protective style and also some other protective styles that I want to do. I think it snowed here like three times already. And I don't want my hair to be damaged at all. I don't want my hair to be dry. So I'm, right now I'm gonna show you what my process is. I did this um, like twice before and it worked really, really well. Um, keeping my hair tucked away, but of course up under your wigs, you wanna make sure that you moisturize your hair. Do not neglect it because you will feel it. As soon as you take this wig off, your braids off, or whatever the case may be, you will notice that your hair will start to break and crackle and your ends just look like trash, okay? So <laughs> don't neglect moisturizing your hair. I actually offer not even corn rolling my hair. I put it in twists in which you will see instead of corn rolls because it's easier for me to just um, unravel the twist, moisturize it, wrap it back up, and then put it back up and then put on my wig. And um, so, and this has been working for me. Like, it's not really bulky. The wig isn't really bulky. It's pretty flat. Um, I don't know. I don't really wear, wear wigs like that, like I said. Um, this is like my first lace wig. And if you are interested in this unit, this unit came from Sam's Beauty. It is a 24 inch Yaki lace wig. Um, and I like it so far. This is actually the second time anybody has ever seen me in it. The first time was on Thanksgiving, which was a couple days ago. And I wore it, and even then I thought it was a lot because I am definitely not used to this. So anyway, let's get on to the tutorial. This is what my hair looks like. It's in a little twist and I pull it all back to the back and a ponytail. You guys can see a little bit better and I put it closer. Okay, anyway, and I pinned it and tied a knot in the back. So I'm just gonna take these pins out. And if you don't mind, I'm probably gonna just chit chat while I do some of this because I do have a lot to tell you guys. I just feel like sharing. I did meet some friends here. They're my neighbors, which <laughs> who are really, really cool. They are very funny. Whew. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. Oh, it smells so good. The last moisturizer I did, it's really, really did. It's wondrous. Anyway, I moisturized it about three days ago, three or four days ago. The moon was Thanksgiving. Today is the 29th, so on the 23rd is when I moisturized it. So it's been almost a week. So this is what my hair looks like. 
And as you can see, my hair did get a little bit longer from the um, last hair video that I did. A lot thicker. And I'm happy for that. I did cut off like an inch and a half two weeks ago because I had braids just so I won't have to manipulate my hair while I was in the knitting process. And um, my ends were trash for right after I got done with those braids. So I cut off about an inch and a half. Okay. Okay, so right now I'm just going to pin up. I'm going to start from the back. So this is one and this is two. So all I'm going to do, twisting is so much easier than having it corn rolled because all I can do is literally this and I don't have to worry about <laughs> braiding it back up which will take me forever to braid my own hair. This right here allows me to do, do it myself and I can moisturize it um, as often as I really need to without having to spend a whole nother hour just trying to uh, braid my hair. But anyway, this is this is one piece right here. So I unravel the twist and there's two twists right here. Okay, the first thing I want to use is this Curls Lavish Curls Moisturizer. It's a second curl refresher daily leave-in. I have used this as a leave-in and like when my hair is wet and I do not like it at all. Um, it's just not a good detangler. It doesn't really do much for my hair when my hair is wet. But I tried it on my dry hair and oh my gosh it still feels so soft along with my moisturizer and my oil like <laughs> this stuff right here i can see why it's like a, you know maybe a second <laughs> curl refresher not really the first it just says second curl refresher refresher but yeah this is exactly what it needs to do it is the <laughs> after your initial wash use this for a refresher on your curls the second time and this works wonders so i really really like that and so all i want to do is take, I'm not gonna spray this on my entire hair. I'm gonna spray this really on the palms of my hand. One, two, three, four, just depending on how big your uh, twists are. And I'm gonna kinda squeeze that into my hair just like this. You don't wanna tug too, too hard, just enough, and especially on the ends, to get it moisturized. Once you feel it like a little damp, then you're good to go. Concentrate mostly on your ends because those are the ones that's really going to, those are the parts of your hair that's the oldest and it's going to dry out. You want to make sure that is completely moisturized. Boom. So that's that. And it's already looking, make my curls pop and everything. Just a little bit of dampness from that refresher. And then the second thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. I love this. I've used this in my past videos if you've seen them. Um, so you already know that right there is, is gold. <laughs> so I go ahead and rub that in my hair and then I go ahead and squeeze that from the ends all the way up to the roots. And this makes my hair feel so soft. This this particular moisturizer, I, I think I've used have like two other moisturizers. And I always opt for that every single time um, because the other ones just wasn't, it wasn't long lasting as I would hope it would be. Um, just to tell you guys, I did before I got here, went like coupon crazy. <laughs> and I got a whole bunch of stuff from like CVS and stuff like that using coupons and got a whole bunch of curly hair friendly products that I have all downstairs in a whole stockpile. I have a whole bunch of products that I can review for you guys if you want me to. So now the moisturizer is in it. Then I have my concoction of an oil. I put all the ingredients I have in this oil in the description box. If you want me to do a video on how to make this oil, just let me know, okay? But anyway, I just do like one squirt of that because this bottle does a pretty, you know, <laughs> good amount of oil and uh, I just concentrate that, that on the ends. I hope you guys holidays were very nice. Mine were very good. Mine was well. I spent it with the, um, my friends slash Germany family. We had a blast. Of course we always play games. We always like to play board games. And we had tons and tons of food. The kids were happy. Uh, everybody was pretty much good but on top of that also cooked for my own household not for my household but my husband um, has a couple of soldiers they're single soldiers especially being overseas they don't have a family that will cook for them or they don't have girlfriends or wives that will cook for them so I invited my husband's single soldiers to come over and eat so I made a whole <laughs> spread of food just 
for his soldiers to eat. And of course, I had my friends food that I was going over there to go eat and stuff like that. So I was pretty much in the kitchen for like two days. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting on my second twist. I'm going to untwist this. After you put the daily leave in your hair, go ahead and take this time to take out any shedded hair that you might have accumulated over the past couple days. And if you don't, I don't comb like necessarily put my fingers through. I just kind of pull my hair, just kind of separate a little bit and then pull and see if there's any shedded hairs that comes out. You don't want to see like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. Just, just a tad bit of shedded hair. And then this time, I don't wash my hair that often. I like to moisturize it more, I'll co-wash it more, but as far as shampoo, because I'm gonna keep it up, it's just no need for me to do that um, very often. I would probably wash my hair probably every four to six weeks, it, you know? Whatever I feel like is dirty. Um, and I make sure when I put some products in my hair that I don't necessarily drown my hair in products so I, I can put the, get the, so I don't have to worry about washing my hair that often. And um, so yeah, I just put the daily leave in. I'm gonna go back in with my curl enhancing smoothie. Sorry, that just looked like I took you off. <laughs> and rub that in on the ends and all the way up to your roots. Y'all, I am so disappointed in myself a little bit because Right before I didn't, right before I got here, and I was so so serious about um, losing weight, right? So for about two months and stuff, I was going to the gym every day and all that. I lost like 30 pounds, so <laughs> I was really excited, you know. I was buying new clothes, getting all kind of stuff, which I have not gained all of it back, but I gained more than I needed to because of the whole weight period. But as soon as I got over here, I didn't have anywhere to go work out. I didn't have a gym near me, and um, I don't have, like, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> it's cold, it's too cold outside to go running and all that kind of stuff. So I have to come up with a whole new regimen on what I need to do for workout. Um, I need to figure out, I need to figure it out ASAP though. Um, just taking my oil, and then rubbing it in from the ends to the roots. But yeah, I don't know what to do. And so my uncle though, he is a personal trainer. He does a lot of competitions and stuff like that. And um, I just kind of asked him, okay, so what are some cardio things that I can do in my house? Because um, I sold my car in state, so now we just down to one car. And then on top of that, um, there's no gym nearby and it's too cold to go outside. So he gave me a little list of stuff to do, and so I'm gonna try it. Um, I heard of this guy called Me and El Boy, who is on YouTube. Um, he does pretty much cardio, cardiovascular workouts and stuff like that, up from, up from 30 minutes up to an hour, hour 20 minutes. So I think what I'm gonna start doing is just using that as a trainer in my own home, and just watch his channel. So these two are moisturized and they feel really, very soft. So I'm just gonna go on to the next one. I just kind of take it out. And here's the next one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just start to do that. And, um, but I hate moving my furniture. <laughs> I don't wanna have to move my furniture, but I guess I'm just gonna have to. Um, we do have a basement, but I have a lot of boxes there that I have not yet to finish to uh, unpack. And so once I get that done, I'll be able to dedicate that uh, basement to my workout area. Um, I'll be able to buy a treadmill. I like the treadmill more than I do the elliptical. Because like on the treadmill, I can like, I can, I don't like to run. <laughs> FYI, I don't like to run. But I do like to walk on incline. And the elliptical kind of gives me that kind of, that, you know, that option. So I want to be able to do that, get in, a, get, in a, get in a treadmill. That will help me out, get a couple of dumbbells. That will also help me out. Um, and I'll watch the YouTube video. So I do plan on continuing my workout and my weight loss journey along with uh, 
be getting braces and stuff like that. Just doing, you know, getting myself together, getting myself to where I want to be, where I want to look like and all that. So this is just the oil again. I'm just squeezing that from the ends all the way to the roots. And I'm just gonna twist that back up. With the twist, I kinda, it kinda keeps the part. You wanna keep the part that you had originally so you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to detangle right now. Even though since it's been in a twist, it hasn't been it hasn't been in anywhere any other style. It's pretty much detangled from the day I washed it. So it's not that bad. Put in the comment box uh, some places that you guys want to visit. Like if there if you had to move somewhere where would it be just outside the US? And you know, just kind of share your experience if you've even been overseas. Because with me over here, I'm close to you know London, I'm close to Switzerland, I'm close to Paris. Um, you know, I'm close to places like that, and I do want to uh, visit those places. And um, so, yeah, let me know what your experiences are. Uh, I'm probably gonna vlog those moments that I do do that. I just find it being more exciting. You know what YouTube really is for me. You know, my parents they never kind of kept you know, a lot of my childhood stuff. You know, my grandparents did, but like my parents, it's always seemed to be like either lost or someone else died it or something like that. It's kind of like, I don't, they didn't, they didn't keep a lot of my, you know, stuff. I've won dance competitions that I took video of, don't know where that is. You know, I had um, stuff going on in my life that I would have want to see till this day. And I think like once I have children, I want to be able to show my kids, oh, this is what mommy and daddy did. This is what mommy and dad used to, to do, and we had fun, and these are the things that we accomplished. These are, you know, you know, the kind of stuff that, you know, that you want your kids to kind of see. And um, set aside from pictures and stuff like that, we really don't have anything else. I took in videos before, but who knows <laughs> where those are. And so, YouTube for me is just a, a, a outlet for me to archive everything that I want to do. Anything that I want to archive, I can archive and put it on YouTube. And it's too easy if something's private for me to put it private, but I can still archive it. You know what I'm saying? It also is an accountability. You know, you know, talking to you guys and doing this makes me accountable for the things that um, I need to do. <laughs> like I need to lose weight. I need to keep my hair healthy. I need to eat healthy. I want to get my teeth straight because this is really annoying. Actually, the wisdom teeth that I had, it was so bad. I pushed my teeth um, and shifted them. You know what I mean? And it took so long for me to heal after me getting my wisdom teeth. It took longer than I expected it. It took a whole two weeks. Like, I thought, you know, by day three, I was going to be like, hey, <laughs> smiling and eating chicken and all that kind of stuff. Nope. I could not eat for an entire week and a half and I was trying not to eat too because I didn't want to suffer during Thanksgiving. I wanted to actually eat so I didn't want to uh, overwork my mouth too much to where that day <laughs> I, when I wanted some ham or some, or some dressing, some macaroni and cheese that um, my mouth was going to prevent me from eating the way I want to. Um, I still have like a little swollen part that's right here and this part of my mouth they said it's going to take a while but I could barely feel like this part I could barely feel it they said because of my my jaw being so swollen it could have crushed the nerves and some people said oh they probably killed the nerves or I just don't know what to think they just said okay eventually it's going to come back I don't want to sit around and um, have a, a lip I can't feel like I think I was there <laughs> just today, I was trying to line my lips. I couldn't feel me lining my lips down there. This is crazy. Okay, so the anesthesia that they gave me was a local anesthesia that they kind of just shot in my arm. It wasn't like they put an IV in me or whatever and then Gary that I was going to sleep. I didn't go to sleep. I was awake <laughs> and I heard everything. Um, it was a point where I felt him tugging and I was trying to talk to him like, yo, I can feel that. <laughs> And uh, he was just trying to struggle getting it out. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is just the worst. 
I wasn't in pain, but I could definitely feel him pulling it. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, I got four wisdom teeth pulled out and you have the nerve to only give me six ibuprofen. That's it, six <laughs> ibuprofen. Four wisdom teeth pulled out of my mouth. Six ibuprofen. Yeah. So I was able to go to my healthcare doctor. Um, every military base has like a health clinic and stuff like that. And so we have a primary doctor there. And so I went there and told them, showed them my chipmunk cheeks, my chipmunk cheeks, and they were just like, "Whoa, oh, you're gonna need something way better than ibuprofen." And so they gave me Percocet, which I was extremely happy they did because I just could not do that. I don't understand. I feel I'm feeling a whole lot better now, as you can see. I'm talking a little bit better. I'm still kind of slurring because this side right here is still um, still swollen a little bit. I don't have a job yet. Um, I have some things I want to do first. I might go back to school. Um, I am learning the language, so that way it's a little bit easier for me to get a job. Um, I can get a job on post, but there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of soldiers and spouses um, on these bases, and all of them want a job. If not, you know, got have one already. Once I'm ready, I'll go ahead and put in my applications and stuff like that, making sure that it's a job that, you know, I can go in from nine to five and no other shift. <laughs> and so, yeah, um, I went to school for public relations and marketing. So if I do get a job, I do want something that's along that side, but I specialize in graphic design. So like newspaper editing, um, I know that they have a newspaper on post that I could probably do. They do a whole bunch of uh, events and stuff like that for the MWR on post and CYS and stuff on post. And so I can do stuff like that. My last post I was at, I was actually a dance teacher. I've been dancing since I was seven years old. Ballet, hip hop, um, jazz, you name it, I did it. Um, competition, dancing and stuff like that. But having only military children Especially on post was just a limitation and I didn't like it. I did it for two years, but I couldn't take that. I was just too many rules. I couldn't take them to compete. I couldn't get them to perform outside of post. Um, and it was just a whole lot. Couldn't do fundraisers so they can get proper uniforms. It's just too much and I just did not like that whatsoever. So after two years, I was like, I'm done. I kind I stopped contract with them, which it was, with, which means it was my business. But I just kind of I used them as an outlet to get my clients. I give them 25%. I use their buildings as well, which I hate it too because I changed buildings like four times because they didn't have the proper funding to get a building of their own so they were always borrowing people's buildings from sports or something like that and so we were kind of left behind and uh, we were thought second of when it comes to where we need to go. I changed buildings like four times and teaching three-year-olds to 18-year-olds so three-year-olds you know <laughs> they they like to have a comfortable spot to be changing every so often kind of discourages little kids. It's like, okay, new space, now I gotta act different. You know what I'm saying? It's already enough for me to get them to calm down so they can dance. But to get them to, to uh, get used to a whole new area, multiple times is just a lot. And I just don't think it was, it was fair. And so I just didn't want to do that anymore. It was just not worth it because I couldn't do what I wanted to do. I couldn't get the, the, I, the whole purpose of me doing it was so that the military kids can have the same experience as the kids out in the local areas. You know, kids want to see what they do, what, kids want to do what they see on TV and not only have one performance a year. Just that. And so, I kind of challenged them in a whole lot of ways. <laughs> and so, when I got here, some people know that I did CYS and they're asking me to do it again. I just like, I don't know, I don't know. I would have to literally, like everything in that contract would have to be catered to everything that I feel like a dance studio should be like. Like I can't, I can't deal with what it, what I had to deal with back in Louisiana. It was just ridiculous. And the parents would, and the parents were so nice. Everybody was so supportive. Parents knew my struggle. Parents knew, 
Oh, I wanted to do so much for the for, for their children and CYS just wouldn't let me. So yeah. My husband just came home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to finish this up a little bit. And um I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm finished. Okay, so guys, this is what it looks like as I finish all of them. They are very, very juicy, very, very plump. Um, even though they're not like perfectly uh, <laughs> twisted up, um, but it'll do for now. And so after I do this, um, I just kind of put it up in a ponytail because I still have to put on the wig because me and my husband have somewhere to go. So all I do is pull back all of the twists tightly but not too tightly tightly enough where they will kind of lay flat on top of my head but loose enough that I'm not pulling on my scalp okay so now that they're all pulled back I'm going to take a band that looks like this and I just put it in the ponytail and that's that sneak and it's put away, it's twisted up, it's moisturized, it's ready for this cold ass weather. And so, this is what it is. So if you want to see more videos like this and if you really like this video, please thumbs up this video. Comment below the things that you do like, things that you want to do, that you want to see. Also, don't forget to press the subscribe button down below and also the notification button so that you'll be aware of any time I do post. Um, Thank you for watching this video. I really, really do appreciate it for everybody who has been patient with me. Uh, I promise again, I will do more and more and I will get better at recording more videos and stuff like that. But if you would, always remember that happiness is healthy and happiness is beauty. I really don't want to do all this. None of these people deserve this slate. They don't deserve this slate.